America for much of the 20th century was divided. The southern states of the country were known as Confederate states, meaning they held a strong belief in the moral integrity of slave possession and the inferiority of African Americans. Present within these states were the Jim Crow laws that legalized the racial discrimination and segregation of African Americans from white Americans. With the Jim Crow laws disabling the African Americans in regards to their human rights, it thus allowed for the superior status of white Americans to be maintained, causing the formation of a white supremacist culture and attitude in society. In 2010, from the American Education Journal, Pearson quotes, present around them was the awfulness of the white supremacist culture. During this time period of the 1960s, African Americans were a minority group in society, associated with many demoralizing stereotypes. White Americans viewed them as inferior, second-class citizens who weren't worthy of voting rights. Society ultimately didn't view African Americans as human beings, instead more as animals. My chosen piece of media is the film Selma. It explores this society through the African American perspective whose voices at the time were silenced. Director Ava DuVernay purposely highlights the appalling treatment and the disabling of rights in order to educate the audience on history's key figures, WWC and Martin Luther King Jr.'s motive behind starting the rights movement. In 2018, the Ecumenical Review article by Mulhall was quoted, sought to advance the cause of freedom, social justice, equal rights, human dignity and peace as a part of their mission. This film ultimately seeks to teach the audience how significant the rights movement was for the African Americans as they were standing up and speaking out against their oppressors. One would argue that the Jim Crow laws were the physical barrier present in society that maintained the barrier of division between the two races. However, the barrier was mainly due to the white Americans not considering African Americans as equal and having an attitude believing they were superior. This barrier becomes evident in the film through the true events of the Selma marches, showcasing to the audience the barrier in the fight for the elimination of discrimination. One scene in the film depicts the first peaceful demonstration attempting to promote their voting rights. In the background you can hear the local white Americans yelling discriminative remarks at the protesters, such as, you animals can't vote. Jim Clark, the town sheriff and other local police officers are shown to be physically blocking the entrance to the registration office, disabling the Africans' ability to vote. The low angle shot of the officers highlights their superior status in conjunction to the African Americans who are portrayed kneeling on the ground representing their inferior status. The scene recreating Bloody Sunday also depicts the divide in status between the races. The white officers are again depicted physically barricading the roads so that the African Americans cannot pass. Through the pictures of the scene, it is evident that the society in Selma are of the belief that silencing the voices of the minority and acts of violence towards them is an acceptable way to treat those of lower significance. It can also be heard in the scene white Americans again using demoralizing and discriminative language towards them, affirming their negative view on African Americans. This particular minority group lived their lives in fear and unrest. The horrendous mistreatment and discriminative abuse they endured daily left devastating physical and psychological effects. Being denied basic equal rights also had a huge impact on their quality of life as they never received the same opportunities in regards to their education or jobs. Thus, their population was known for having a very low socioeconomic status. Another scene in Selma uses lighting to convey the difference of how society views both races. The African American woman is shown through dull lighting and dark shadows signifying how society pushes people of her race into the shadows. The male character is shown through bright lighting conveying how white Americans are important and in charge of society. The scene also demonstrates the compulsory literacy tests African Americans were made to take in order to vote, which were purposely made impossible to pass. This piece of media through exposing the audience to the African American perspective and their non-violent methods gets people to think about how to put yourself in another person's position and see the world through their eyes, stated by an anonymous author in 2011 from ProQuest article, thus acting as a moral guide and ultimately positively affecting their attitude formation in regards to allowing them to reflect and evaluate levels of inclusion used in their own lives. In my opinion, the film could have further explored the relationship and inclusion between the Selma African American community and those white Americans who supported the rights movement. Overall, this film is an accurate piece of educational material that explores this time in history and represents the various true events and historical figures with factual accuracy. Selma is a very credible piece of media due to the continuous reference to history throughout the entire film, which allows it to be a successful educational resource that audience members could watch to learn about this time period and the rights movement. Selma predominantly highlights the exclusivity within America's society during the 60s in the hope that the audience members can observe the negative effects and in turn go out into their own society and promote inclusiveness. Although inclusiveness is promoted in the film's message, it doesn't matter that you are of the minority. It's the ability to unite together as one to overcome.